Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I get this beautiful brick of beeswax um, using a uh, solar melter. First thing you need is a cooler. You probably got these laying around the house. This one had in the basement. Cheap, easy, it cost me nothing. It was free. Um, next thing you'll need is a tray to catch your wax. Um, I'm using a TV dinner tray. Um, you can use a Tupperware tray, anything. I use plastic because it's flexible. You can flex it and get melted beeswax out. I got a piece of tape on here just to hold it in place in the cooler. Stick it down there. Holds it just like that. Uh, next thing you'll need, one of these aluminum baking trays. I picked this up at Dollar General uh, for something else. <laughs> So I already had my use out of it, but now it's got another use. You want to poke a bunch of holes in here with a, a nail or anything sharp. You know, you can use a knife. And then you want to, or what I did, I creased mine. So it's got a crease in the middle. That way everything in here flows right to the center and not to the corners. You know, you want everything going through those holes. And then in this particular occasion, this thing fits perfect in this cooler. Just like that, it slopes down. I didn't have to put nothing under it. I mean, you could probably use a block of wood or even you know tape your tray to the sides if it's a smaller tray or something. But like I said, this thing is perfect. It's like they're made for each other. Next thing you'll need is a paper towel. Just lay it down in there just like that. And then that way you can put all your, you know, melted cappings just down in there, just like so. And then you'll want a window pane, a plexiglass, whatever's handy. Bam, right there on top. Leave it out in the full sun. That stuff will melt down right into your little container in the bottom. And you'll be left with this. This is slum gum. This is all your leftover stuff. Don't throw this away. Save it. You can use it for swarm traps. You know, melt it down or rub it inside your swarm traps. Catch some swarms. Um, or you can just use it as fire starter. Stuff works great. But that's it. That's a DIY solar melter. Cheap and easy. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.